Hello guys and welcome to Sound Codex. In today's PD Vanilla tutorial, I want to show how to make an overtone oscillator. And to do so, we're going to use very simple modules like the OSC. So it's going to be a sine wave overtone oscillator. Instead of using a simple number box to set the frequency, I want to use MMK which is the abstraction I made for a monophonic keyboard. You can check out the video on top here or down below in the video description where there's the uh, GitHub link where you can download this abstraction. So note out goes here. Now we send the main frequency to the OSC. From this point, we can multiply the fundamental frequency by uh, numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we can select all uh, multiplication, our note out. We press shift, so we link each node. Out of each multiplication, we can create an oscillator. If we take each OSC, each harmonic output, and we send it uh, to the DAC, we want here a good result because the harmonics amplitude will be too high compared to uh, the fundamental frequency. So we need to bring down the amplitude of each overtone. To do so, we can multiply, we can create a multiplication sign for each OSC. And later on, we'll add a number inside this right inlet. But for now, we can just add each signal. And we can use a toggle to simply turn on or off the harmonics, the overtones. And we can send this final multiplication sign to the main output. At this point, we need to modulate and change the amplitude of each uh, overtone, of each harmonics. I want to use an LFO, so OSC. I'm going to divide its amplitude, so I multiply it by 0 0.5, and I shift it plus tilde 0 0.5. So in this example, the amplitude will oscillate between 0 and 0 0.5. Here I can take an input frequency for my LFO, very low number like this. And now let's try to set each harmonic amplitude. But we can make things even more interesting because by now we are modulating each oscillator, each harmonics with the same LFO. And I want to do in a more interesting way. So what I want to do now is to bind an LFO to each harmonic. To do so, we first need to uh, copy and paste each OSC. We have six harmonics and here six LFOs. We take the base LFO frequency and we can multiply it by very low numbers like 0 0.02, 1.02. Then that value is multiplied by the same number. At 
this point each LFO frequency is different one from the other and this produces really interesting phase variations and different modulation on each harmonic. Now to make things even more interesting I want to shape this modulation section in such a way. So here we are, we are multiplying a base LFO frequency by the same number each time we get an output that output is going to be the input for the next modulation but each multiplication node multiplies this fundamental frequency by the same number what i want to do is i want to change this value depending on the fundamental frequency that it's into this first uh, oscillator so here we can use a sand mm, base frequency. We take note out. So this is the fundamental frequency. Here on top we receive base frequency. We divide it by a hundred, or it's better to use multiplication. So we multiply it by zero point zero one. So here we have 65, here 0 0.65. Each time we output a different number, I want to use a trigger bank float. So first I'm going to change the multiplication here inside the rightmost inlet. And then the bank is going to start the operation, the calculation. Here I can use two messages to switch between on and off so we can listen first to the fundamental frequency which is this one and then to the fundamental frequency with all harmonics The last thing I want to modify from this patch is this multiplication section where here we define harmonics only and I want to have two options, harmonics or simple overtones. If you want to create different methods to multiply the fundamental frequency, to create harmonics or partials or generic overtones, it's really up to you to define your method. Here I simply used a POW 0.5 and I made uh, a cascade. Or we can create a cascade uh, system to recreate this multiplication, this simple multiplication by integer numbers. So we take our input number, we add one, result plus one, and so on. That was all for today's tutorial. I really hope this sound exploration using partials and harmonics was interesting for you. If so, I invite you to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.